Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl M, and today we are doing a bathroom tour. I know it's been a while, but your girl is back and she got a new camera. So I want to try this on, disregard the face. She is not wearing makeup, just little eyebrows, but everything else is just, you know, what it is. Kind of breaking down a little bit, but it's life, right? So anywho, we're gonna do this bathroom tour. So if you're interested in seeing how I decorated it, then please keep on watching. Okay, so here is the bathroom. Um, I guess we could start on this wall. I created this piece to add in some greenery into the space. So these are Monstera leaves, full Monstera leaves from Amazon. And I got the um, actual case from Michaels. So all I did was just use a glue gun to um, paste the monstera leaves into the actual frame and then just put it up with actual yeah, I think I used some um, command strips but that's what's keeping it onto the wall and I think it's just a really nice piece I was looking for art pieces to put in the bathroom and they were just costing so much money and I'm in a you know small apartment like we don't need any super fancy stuff in here. So definitely would suggest doing a DIY if you are looking for like bringing more life into your space, especially if you don't have windows, like my bathroom doesn't have any windows. So bringing in some greenery helps to make it more of like a cohesive and um, a tranquil kind of place in my eyes. Now, probably the star of the show is the shelving um, cabinet, thing, or not cabinet, but shelving piece here um, definitely a selling point for me when I was looking at the apartment and it's just so pretty I literally envisioned this you know having my beauty care stuff all displayed nicely because I am a huge huge um, like skincare addict so um, here's all of my skincare that I use um, this Chanel box actually came with um, some face wipes that were dirt cheap, they're like $20, and you get like this beautiful packaging, and you get to keep like, you get the box with it, so I just kind of use it to put on display. Um, I got the idea from another YouTuber, I forgot her name, but I will put her um, like video where she talks about it down below. I actually love watching her videos, and I thought this was like the best idea, especially if you wanna glam up your bathroom. Um, this is a body oil, it's so bright, let me see if I can. Zoom in. Yep, this is a body oil from Saboon. It's um, really nice. It just makes you glisten after you shower, so I love using that. Um, Nivea, you know, love the vanilla smell for that. Next <laughs> is this diffuser that I got from Amazon. Um, I bought two of them to kind of bring balance to this space, but it's just a really cute. Um, addition here. I'm not a big fan of the scent, so I'm probably going to buy like a different diffuser, probably from Nest or something. Um, but for right now, I just figure I'll just let it kind of run out and then I'll get a new one. And then this row is all of what should be pretty much everything that I use in the morning. Um, obviously, I use my cleanser morning and night. So um, this is from Youth to the People. It's legit one of my favorite cleansers. I love that it comes in a glass jar. Um, I believe it's reusable as well. So I think that's really cute. Um, I have this Tatcha. Um, basically, it's like a chamomile cleansing oil. So whenever I have makeup, I just use that after I use a wipe. My simple micellar water, really good, simple, easy. Um, I've been loving this Fresh Rose Dehydration or Hydrate Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Wow, say that 10 times fast. Um, but I've been loving this and I'm going to be buying another one um, with the Sephora VIB sale now. I have the Fresh um, facial treatment essence as well. This is a good one to put after your toner. Um, I'm a huge fan of Drunk Elephant, so I have a good amount of their products. This is the C Firma for the morning. It's um, good for just like a morning serum. I have the eye cream too for the morning. Um, this um, I have actually used this. I have it out, but I have to try it. I haven't used it yet. There we go. Um, I have not tried this, so if you have tried this, let me know in the comments what you think. But I do have it here, so I will try that soon. 
and I have this another sample um, it's from youth to the people and it is a moisturizer so this is what you're supposed to be using in the morning time um, it's really nice the color does kind of look weird but it's really nice for the daytime so that's what I use now I'm gonna be purchasing the larger one with the Sephora VIB sale as well and then the bottom shelf has all of my night serum so this is the TLC um, glycolic acid night serum from Drunk Elephant, my UFO Sunday from Sunday Riley, great treatment especially if you have acne, blackheads, love this stuff. Um, I also use the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery right after this and then I have an eye cream. Um, this is from Glow Recipe. This is really nice. It's an avocado, um, I think, base with retinol oil. Um, and then I have the Youth to the People Super Berry Hydrate Glow Dream Mask. Um, this is what I use at night. It's super thick, so it's perfect for a night cream. And then this is a scrub that I use from time to time, um, also from Youth to the People. I think you can see the theme here. Um, but this is like really fine and it's a perfect um, mash just to kind of put it on for a little bit and then you just scrub it off which is nice so it's a good for exfoliating as well. I have these um, little wipes. These are the clean towels in the extra large size. I've seen them all over Instagram and YouTube so I figured I'll give them a try. They're okay. Um, nothing too crazy. It's just a big thick towel so if you're into that I would definitely suggest it if you want something like that um, and then here on top of my toilet I have um, some wipes because you know if you don't have wipes then I don't know what you're doing um, I wanted to add some additional greenery here so these are faux plants um, from Target I got this vase from H&M home and um, you know your poopery because you know you need people right here. Um, and then I just got this from oh, this um, toilet paper holder thing is from I believe Amazon. I think that was super cheap too, but figured it was cute. Matches with the silver hardware that's in the bathroom. Um, also picked up this little garbage can from Amazon. I believe this plunger is from Target. And I wanted a place where people can grab like the towels to like wipe their hands. So these are like those, um, I think the Kleenex towelettes um, with the little holder, which I thought was really cute. So I can just hang it right here. Um, and then moving to the sink area, we have me. Um, but I also, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot. I would definitely suggest getting an Echo. You know, like I like to listen to the sound of the waves when I'm taking a shower or music. So definitely would suggest using it, getting an Echo if you, you know, want to have music in the bathroom. Um, but here I have some, let's see if I can put it down the brightness. Yeah. I have some hand soap and hand lotion also from Saboon. The little tray that I got is from Target. Kind of goes with the aesthetic of just like clean and nice and white so I can kind of create more space since the bathroom is small. Um, you know, your typical stuff. Um, and I got this from Target as well. It matches with the tray. And I kept everything really simple here. Nothing on here. I got these towels. They're from the Castle. I forgot the name of it, but it's Target. Um, it matches with my towel. Um, I also can go, let's see, let's go here. So I got this paint or picture from Society6 and I just thought it was super cute. Like goes with the whole vibe of the bathroom. It's just trying to be like a spa, trying to be very relaxed. I love coffee and shade, so that's my girl. Um, so I thought this was gonna be a cute and it adds some color too since I don't really have much color in here. And I also got this um, shower curtain. I'm really annoyed by it though because it's so short. <sighs> so short. Um, but I got this from Target. The The reason why it's so short is my bathroom is, my ceilings in my apartment are really high. So I can take you all the way up. It's really high and this was, I guess, placed pretty high. Typically you have like a 72 inch um, like length and this is like 78 or something so pretty annoying or 74 something like that but 
I'm going to try to find another one that kind of goes further down so it looks more seamless. Um, but anyways, I got this from Target. I believe this is, ugh, I forgot the, the brand, but I'll put it down in the um, comments just so y'all can have it. I got this rug from H&M Home. It's just like super luscious and cute. Um, and then it has like some browns that pulls in from the um, piece over here, the shelving, as well as my um, medicine cabinet. So I thought this kind of played nicely with it. I got this bench from Kohl's, I believe. And I use it pretty much for storage. So I have like extra towels in there, some um, towels to kind of clean, microfiber towels, some extra um, face towels that I just wash when I don't want to use the other ones. And it's just a cute little area. I haven't actually sat on it and did what you need to kind of do. But it's just cute. It goes with the spa theme and feel. So I really liked having it in here. Um, and I got these baskets from Amazon. So these are really cute little like wicker baskets. This towel matches the um, smaller towels on the sink area from Target as well. I have some more backup towels. <laughs> Um, just to have some other ones. I think I got this on the sale from, I can't, I don't think I got them anywhere that anyone can actually pick them up. Um, but either way, they're white towels. You can find them anywhere. <laughs> um, and I have some more, uh, one more basket up here. So I try to use this every week for like during my spa day that I typically do on a Sunday. And I have my water flosser because yeah gotta keep your teeth clean and that is pretty much it um, back here since I don't have like a coat closet or an extra closet I have to store my like mop and stuff on the actual wall so I thought this was like a good space to do that so this is what I use to actually scrub my um, tub and then this is my mop so my Swiffer mop thing which it fits perfectly back here Nobody even knows. And that is the bathroom. It's really small, it's really quaint, but it does the job and it feels like a nice place to come and relax whenever I want to just, you know, decompress. So that is everything in the bathroom. Okay, so thank you for joining me on this tour. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about the bathroom. I know there's some things I could probably do, but like I said, this is a rental. I don't know why I'm looking so shiny, but whatever. This is a rental, so I'm not gonna do anything crazy in here, but I just wanted to make it feel like it's like a nice, relaxing place to come without too much stuff, because that just kind of makes everything feel too cluttered and just like too noisy, so. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you know where to find a really long um, shower curtain, let me know there too because I just, I've been searching and I just can't find anything and it's annoying. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think and yeah, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.